If you do a Google search on pollution masks, you will come across a lot of articles telling you to buy this mask, get that mask, a lot of videos reviewing different brands of the masks. Some are saying that this mask filters out 95% of the pollution, others are saying it filters out 99% of the pollution. But a little logic and research will tell you that this is not completely true. Otherwise, there's no point in making this video. Hey everyone, this is Tao Science, simplified science to make you smarter. So let's start with the basic one, the face mask or the surgeon's mask. You must have seen a lot of people wearing these in metropolitan cities. Masks are supposed to act as filters. They act as a mesh that prevents harmful substances from entering your body. The surgical masks pretty much do nothing because they are not airtight and let almost everything in. Contrary to popular belief, they also give a limited protection from germs and does not filter very small particles in air transmitted by coughs, sneezes, etc. These might provide you with a little bit of dust protection, but other than that, not much. Next ones are a little bit advanced, like the mask with N95 or higher rating. Air pollution is made up of particles and gases. Gases include carbon monoxide, nitrogen dioxide, sulfur dioxide, and volatile organic compounds. Though gases are definitely harmful, the fine particles, especially below the size of 2.5 microns, are really bad. N95 respirators means they allow only 5% of the particles to enter, rest stay outside, mainly because they give a good air seal. But they do not remove gases and let them in, like nitrogen dioxide that makes lungs inflamed and cause bronchitis. N95 masks also protect against bacteria but not against viruses, which because of their small size can easily pass. N95 masks are mainly used in industries where exposure is limited to dust and small particles, also in places near fires or forest fires. Still only dust protection, no protection against gases. Even FDA has mentioned that on their site that they provide only limited protection. Moreover, the masks are not the most comfortable thing, especially if you're suffering from cardiac and respiratory conditions. In these conditions, masks can make things even worse. I want to be very clear that I'm not talking about the defense grade gas masks. I'm just talking about the masks that you normally see in public use. Defense grade gas masks are designed for chemical and biological warfare. So I think they can pretty much endure pollution. But the thing is, they provide protection only for a limited time. Most last around for just 24 hours. So everyday use of these masks are not viable. And also they're kind of expensive. So in conclusion, pollution masks only give a limited protection. Plus your eyes and skin are still exposed. Knowing all the facts, it's up to you whether to use them or not. Well, there's also a permanent solution, which I think you guessed correctly. Reduce pollution, use alternate energy, plant trees, and protect environment. And well, that's the reason why scientists are insisting on that rather than gas masks. Please hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. Don't forget to hit the notification bell, like, comment, and share. And as always, keep learning, keep exploring until you know everything.